So I'll start this off, a little bit sweaty, just hiked up here. Um, yeah, so I've been in Kamloops for the summer and I, I left you guys at Brazil when I got home. And I think pretty much the plan at that point was to just start looking for jobs right away, like where the next place I was gonna go for September. Um, and I applied to I think like 27 different positions including, I was sort of debating at Tbilisi, the place that I applied to in 2018 and I got rejected or they didn't respond to me after an interview. Um, I was like, well, I'm never going to get it, but I'll put it in. And uh, so I was waiting around for jobs, waiting around, waiting around, waiting around. And then uh, it got down to a few schools who I was interested in and wanted me. And then Tbilisi actually contacted me like, yeah, we're interested. So I was like, please, 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 please. And sure enough, it, uh, it worked out. So I was like, you know. <laughs> That was a miracle, because that was my dream in 2018, was to go to Tbilisi, and so for that to work out now is just like amazing. So that right there was, like I guess, like victory of the summer, because coming home I didn't really have too many um, goals or anything like that. I basically wanted to gain some weight, uh, I wanted to relax, I wanted to get a job somewhere that I was interested in going to, and just kind of uh, see my people, my friends and my family. So in that regard, summer was awesome. Um, and so yeah, I got home and pretty much started searching for jobs, got into a routine of a little bit of running, and a little bit of lifting weights and within like three weeks I'd gained 10 pounds like four kilograms so I was back to my healthy weight that was great um, I think at one point I went down to Vancouver with Carmen for a trip a uh, beautiful view here across the I believe the Portman Bridge so Vancouver is a gorgeous city while we were down there but uh, I went for a run with him one day and twisted my ankle and uh, it was a silly day like that day after I twisted my ankle I was using crutches I probably didn't need to but uh, it was funny and we went out to a bunch of beer places and met a bunch of people it was pretty cool but uh, it kind of set me off running for a bit so I couldn't really do that and I uh, was just chilling here and then decided to start doing the movies for coming home. And I thought the Buenos Aires movies would be like super short and they totally weren't. I guess that's an important moment in my life, two and a half years living in Buenos Aires, actually three and a half years living in Buenos Aires. And uh, so those actually got pretty in depth. And then the trip home also I thought would be kind of easy to do. Like I went here, I went here, I went here and it turned out to be majorly time consuming as well. So those two projects occupied a lot of my summer, super nerd core, but gave me a bit of a purpose, a mission. Uh, because I wasn't working or anything. Probably in retrospect, it would have been good to try to find some volunteer work here or something like that. But uh, in general, um, it's probably okay to rest as well. Um, so yeah, just a, a summer of hibernation pretty much. Seeing some old friends, uh, doing a little bit of running once my foot kind of healed up a bit. And uh, some gorgeous river floats as well. But uh, tying into kind of what I was talking about the Buenos Aires videos, the one weird thing about coming home this time was um, I mean, it's gorgeous here, you can see some of the landscape, it's great. But uh, I was talking about my mythology of Kamloops on the periphery of Kamloops, and I definitely didn't feel any of that. I mean, it's a gorgeous place, it's my home, but I didn't feel that romanticized mythology coming back this time at all. Like, a total absence of it, actually. No desire to push myself to the periphery of the city to kind of be on my own in the spiritual realm there. I kind of felt an absence of that in all regards. That's really interesting. I don't know if it's a progression, but it's letting go of some of my old framework, my old identity, my old mythology, so that, that was a surprise actually, that I didn't feel any of that attraction. Um, but I mean, we did a float down to Rabbit Island the other day, and that's kind of peripheral Kamloops, like on the edge of civilization, and it was amazing. It was like probably the best day of summer, just awesome. But again, still not back in that mythology, so that was kind of interesting. And some other aspects of the summer that I guess are worth mentioning, um, uh, just seeing some old friends, like I said, Jordan came to town, so that was super cool to see him and see him do some uh, karaoke, or not karaoke, I guess you would say, open mic, guitar, acoustic stuff, that was super cool. And to meet up with my, my friend Rob Gallagher and uh, Rosie, my ex-girlfriend, came back for a while. And seeing her was like the absolute best thing I could have ever expected. I mean, we're good friends, but, um, you know, there's all this sort of like little tensions or whatever when people split up, even though it's been a long time. And it was like literally like the best hangout. I, like it was amazing. That was another highlight this summer. Playing a little tennis from time to time, watching some World Cup. Um, yeah, so just a, a real chill summer. Uh, did a little running with my ex-athlete Kayla. Did some running with my brother's athlete at the start of summer before I twisted my ankle. And absolutely got myself checked. Like, dude, you are not fast anymore. Um, t tough to break 60 seconds for 400, man. So anyway, <laughs> so anyway, a basic summer. Nothing amazing. I'm out of here in like two or three days to Tbilisi. So we'll see what that holds in store for me. But uh, yeah, um, that's how it was for four months, I guess.